Oh, sorry. All right. So um, just want to point out, too, if you're like looking at this and wondering how I record my vocals, um, especially at home, a lot of uh, people make the rookie mistake of recording like this into the microphone. And that's too close. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen videos of um, professional recording, but you know, you never see them up to the microphone that close. Like they're usually, you know, usually sometimes the mic's up here or several feet away and they have uh, the gain on the uh, preamp turned up and stuff. So that way it looks good. What's important is to understand that when you talk to somebody, um, you're not all in their face like this or their ear. You're not like speaking loud and in their ear, you're, you know, at a good distance away. So you want to make sure like, you know, you're, um, you're always at a good distance. You know, if you're closer than like six inches from the microphone, you're pretty much too close. That's a good, you know what I mean? You can be like right here. That's cool. But if you're any closer than that, there's no need for that. Um, and then you'll notice that my microphone is high. Because uh, the sound that kind of, I learned anyway, that sound that kind of resonates here is normally what people hear. And it's a little bit higher, it's a little bit nicer. So um, ever since I kind of started like lifting the microphone up a little bit, recording the way, if, if it's not strong enough, I turn the gain up. But if, you know, if you look here while I'm talking, you'll see that, you know, you get me every time. Watching it all unfold, you get me every time. Hey. So you will notice that, you know, I'm getting I'm getting plenty of uh, of signal. So you want your signal to be clean. So that's the way to do it. Don't record too close because it sounds muffled. Um, get a good distance and turn your gain up if you're not getting enough signal. Um, and every audio interface should have phantom power so you shouldn't have a problem with not having enough gain so all right so let's record these backgrounds I'm gonna go to my email pull up my lyrics because I don't remember them Watching it all unfold, you get me every time, and it's incredible. Could you hear that outside? You can hear that, right? Cool. Also, when you record, record uh, with a lot of energy, you know, if it's you know, or be in the mood of the song that you're recording. So if it's a hype song, you know, have a lot of energy, you know what I mean, when you're recording it. Or if it's a slow grooving song, you know, swing to it a little bit and make sure that you're in character when you sing it because people can hear that feeling. Watching it all unfold You get me every time and it's incredible to know that you were mine. So listen to it real quick. Watching it unfold. You give me every time. And it's incredible. times to really kind of make sure it's clean as I can make it. Uh. Watching it all unfold, you get me every time, and it's
it's incredible to know that you were mine. Let's listen back to that. Watching it all unfold. You can kind of hear the, uh, my friend O'Brien. Shout out to O'Brien Music. Shout out to So For Real for doing this beat. Slick, I see you, bro. Watching it all unfold. Shout out to uh, my friend O'Brien calls it spit bubbles when you get the little slippery slopperies in there. And you can hear it in the microphone. He calls them spit bubbles. Shout out to O'Brien Music. Watching it all unfold You get me every time And it's incredible To know that you were mine Okay, so that was cool. I like that one. So, I'm going to move on to the next one. And then, since I have that part, I'm just going to double it. Watching it all unfold You get me every time And it's incredible to know Now, a lot of issues that um, you're going to have with uh, doing background vocals is sometimes the cadence of the vocals or the way the vocals were sing don't match. What I do is I sing them over. There's software out there that um, if you have the right program using, you can use it, like Vocaline. A lot of, you know, if you ever wonder how some of these songs that you hear from the industry sound so perfect, it's because they use things like Autotune and Vocaline and Melodyne to basically correct all that. Or even, if they, even if they don't have vocal line, they still you can still go in and change the waveform and make sure that everything's perfect. Um, vocal line doesn't work on sonar, so um, but I do have a version of it that if I wanted to, I could pull the wave tr the wave files out and align them and then bring them back in. But I usually kind of under get my cadence, so I don't really worry about it. I kind of like the feel of it anyway. I do use auto tune in my vocals. Um, but again, that's kind of a competitive thing. If nobody else did it, I wouldn't use them because, you know, I can sing it until I get the pitch perfect. But, you know, everybody's lazy, I guess. So don't be mad. It's just the way that it is. Um, so I, I do use auto-tune on some of my vocals just to make sure, you know, that I don't have to, just so I don't have to go in and clean it up if I don't want to. So I'm, listen, I'm listening back to it to make sure I get the cadence right and get the sound or the way I sing it correctly. Watching it all unfold You get me every time Give me every time And it's incredible to know that you are mine One more time Watching it Watching it all unfold You get me every time And it's incredible To know that you were mine Watching it all So, 
this was already already pre-mixed. <laughs> anyway, this was already pre-mixed already, so it's like, you know, that's why it sounds pretty good right now, but, um, or anyway, decent. So, you know, you still got to add the right plugins and stuff in order to get the um, sound right. So, hopefully you guys aren't like, oh my god, how did he get it sound so good? Like, I'm definitely not that good. Watching it so, now I'm going to listen. So, I just checked this track and I'm going to try to match the, um, the chorus. And in the previous chorus, I did, a, I did a melody and I did a high on the melody. So now I'm going to match that for this bridge by doing a high on the melody on this one so that when it goes back into the chorus, it sounds good. Um, it's going to sound bad, but luckily we have, you know, what you, what you guys hear is going to sound bad, but what comes out of the recording is going to sound good because, again, I have pitch correction in there. So, um, And it's always in there faint, by the way. You know, I never, in my mix... I always have those low, just to kind of accent and give the um, recording more fullness. 